Hi everyone, and welcome to this video series on cone penetration testing, or CPT for short. In this video, we're going to talk about the various bits of equipment that you need to get started with this technique. But first, let's get some background information. CPT is a soil investigation technique with which you assess the soil behavior. It has a wide variety of geotechnical applications, for instance, to provide the input data for foundation design. But it can also be used in geo-environmental investigations, for example, to detect the presence of buried metal objects or contaminants. In its most basic form, an instrumented cone is pushed into the soil at a speed of 2 cm per second, where it usually measures three things the tip resistance, friction along the sleeve, and the pore water pressure. The cone is connected to a data acquisition system that returns the data, a continuous soil profile, in real time to the operator. And in this manner, you can perform soil investigation to a depth of, say, 20 meters in about 25 minutes. It's a fast-growing technique that's well-specified, and it's increasingly applied around the world for all kinds of projects and applications. And that's the big advantage of CPT, it's fast. In addition, you can measure multiple parameters at one time, and the data is accurate, repeatable, and reliable. And the testing is done in situ. So what do you need to perform this technique? Well, you need three things. The first thing you need is an electrical CPT system, which consists of a few components. You have your cone that contains the measurement sensors. There are many different types that we will discuss further in another video. It has a tip that measures the resistance of the soil. The sleeve detects friction, which can give a good indication of the type of soil. And these rings here are optional. They measure the water pore pressure, which gives information on the water contents of the soil. Rods are needed to push the cone into the ground. And you need a transmission system, like wires or cables, to transmit the data from the cone to your data acquisition system on the surface and then the data acquisition system to collect the data and store it on a computer. There are possible accessories here, like crossovers or friction reducers for very sticky soils. And secondly, you need some force to push the cone into the ground at a regulated speed of two centimeters a second. Back in the day, this would have been done by hand, but now things are a bit more sophisticated and we use a hydraulic pusher like the one behind me. And lastly, you need a carrier for your pusher. The carrier helps to transport your pusher to the job site, but also to position it at the test location. All the items discussed are available from Royal Aquacom, from the standalone CPT rigs to a wide variety of cones. We're more than happy to advise you on the best option for your situation. And in addition to the products themselves, we also provide all training, service and technical support you could need to achieve the best results. Thank you for watching, and be sure to watch the other videos in our series. 